What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are finally wrapping up our WWE Elite 103 series reviews with Bobby Lashley and Liv Morgan. I just noticed they added the Almighty to Bobby Lashley's name down there, which is pretty interesting. But I'm excited for both of these. I'm more excited for the Bobby, I think. I love Liv Morgan, and I like this gear. I just think the head sculpt misses the mark, and we're going to get into that. I just don't think the, the likeness is there on that one. But you do get some cool accessories. We got two champions right here in these. We got some cool stuff going on with these, and we're going to break them all down of course and I'm absolutely going to put Bobby Lashley spearing Liv Morgan in the thumbnail because that's like an ongoing theme here on the channel. If I review a women's figure with a men's figure, the man is always spearing the woman's figure or it's happened a lot. At least, I want to say it's happened at least two or three times here on the channel. Nonetheless Bobby Lashley, Liv Morgan, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% but here is the front viewing window of both champions here. Of course their faces are on the sides there I think Liv Morgan is looking a little bit better than Bobby but Bobby's handsome over there. On the back another shot here again same deal there bobby's handsome but i don't think uh I, yeah he's uh man doesn't age though for christ's sake he looks younger now than he did in like 06 here's the rest of the figures in the way check out those reviews got their names on the sides of course and that wraps up our packaging man how long have we had this packaging like elite i feel like it's been a minute since we've seen some new packaging man maybe they're about time to to change courses and change the packaging up i think it's what every like 15 or so series or like 10 to 12 15 in there but let's shut the hell up crack these guys out of the packaging find out what they're all about and see how they turn out my god so here's Bobby Lashley and Liv Morgan out of their packaging, both with their championships. Looking swell, you know, I like the colors we got going on. You got some black and green, some black and yellow. You got two championships, two solid talents here. Dude, when I tell you, you know I, how I clown on Bobby Lashley sometimes, right? I call him Bobby Trashley sometimes. That really only started as a joke and kind of a meme of the channel. Because when I was a kid, dude, I, I loved Bobby Lashley. I used to run him in my season mode all the damn time, man. I love Bobby Lashley. So in the modern era, you know, I can kind of clown him a little bit. He's not as cool to me as he once was, but I still appreciate Bobby Lashley. I think he's a unit. I think he has his place in wrestling, and I enjoy Bobby Lashley. So to have this figure is awesome to add it to the collection of Bobby Lashley figures. This is actually his sixth Elite, and we have an Ultimate coming soon. So he's got a slew of figures, and I'm sure we're not done. You know, once he gets that Ultimate, we may slow down. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up, dive into Liv Morgan's accessories and Liv Morgan, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Trashley and Trashley's accessories. All right, so for Liv Morgan's accessories, again, you get some good stuff here. I love the women's championship, the shape. Colors look really nice. I love the Liv Morgan side plates. You know, we saw this with what? The Elite 100 Becky Lynch, but this is the first time I believe that we're seeing women's side plates on the women's size, you know, the SmackDown Women's Championship here, which of course is retired now, but still looks damn good. It'll look good on the display and stuff. The Liv Morgan side plates look good. This looks nice. Very clean, very aesthetically pleasing. Good job right here. And then we've certainly seen the Money in the Bank briefcase before, the women's version in white, which is very clean. Again, you know, this is the accurate size and everything like that. Talking to you, greatest hit, Seth Rollins. I know it's a re-release wave, but it's still trash. But this is nice to have. You know, you can open it up. You can put stuff in here and, you know, just do whatever you want to with it, you know? What do you mean by that? Nice Money in the Bank briefcase. Always appreciate these. And now this is interesting. You guys are going to notice that the left hand here is actually a mic holding hand, I do believe. Or is it connected to? Okay, so this this happened to both of my hands right here. They're like connected and I had to like shove the briefcase like up in there to get her to hold the briefcase. And you guys can see that it like tore the plastic. So now I have that little piece on there. But her right hand has black nail polish and her left hand has white nail polish, which is a, a cool detail. But my hands came stuck together. So you may have to hit that with an X-Acto knife or something. And then for other hands, you do get the fisted hands, which have the white nail polish on the left and the black on the right, which is, you know, it's accurate. So I guess they nailed that. All right, guys, so getting into Liv Morgan, starting out with the head sculpt. I've discussed it already. I just feel like, like, the likeness is there. I feel like everything is pretty much accurate. Outside of maybe, like, I feel like the head may be a little bit too long, like, it, like vertically, like, just stretched out a little bit. And then I feel like the eyes are a little bit off. Just a little bit. Maybe they're a little bit too close together, and they need to be, maybe that's what it is. It's like the head is stretched out when it needs to be. Instead of, like, this, it needs to be, like, smushed down, and her eyes need to widen a little. But I see a little bit of likeness. It's not the most agreeable head sculpt I've seen, but there's certainly been better likenesses to Liv Morgan, as we'll see. Actually, yeah, her Elite 85 figure looked more like her. Anyway, we're gonna get into that. I like the eye makeup right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but she has that, like, subtle, like, almost, like, emo crying style makeup kind of going down right here, but then she's got the lime green and the money in here, very nicely sculpted. What's nice about women's figures, too, especially in the modern era, is that they've, you know, most men's figures, you don't get a lot 
of sculpt work on the figure. You get the same torso we've seen 20, 50, 60 times. You get a repaint of a leg mold we've seen 20, 40, 60 times. So when they add in these little sculpts and like stuff right here across the stomach and everything like that, and little wrinkles in the top right there, stuff like that really goes a long way in my opinion. But here you got these sleeves on there. Um, I don't really care for mesh sleeves. Like look at that dark brown color. I don't know. I, am I alone in that? I just feel like it looks weird as a mesh because it like looks like it's a different skin tone kind of, but it gets the job done, I guess. You get the little chain sculpted here. Like this right here, you're not going to see the sculpt again probably, right? You're not going to see this exact same sculpt here on the crotch piece. And maybe it's because women's figures are smaller and it's not as much cost. I don't know the ins and outs, but you got the same legs here we've seen. You got these knee pads in here, which look a bit odd, but they're there. You got the fishnets, and then you do have the basic boots that they always use on these women's figures, man. Give us some elite kick pads for the love of God. For the love of God. Green, silver, black looks good. I enjoy the Liv Morgan, man. I, I like the figure. I really do. I just, like, God. Nonetheless, let's get into some Liv Morgan figure comparison. And for that, we do have the new Elite 103. We have the Elite 85, but I did head swap these. So this head sculpt used to be over here, and uh, obviously this head sculpt used to be over here, but I made, like, this really cool fix-up. And I think both of these head sculpts have more likeness than this one. Even if this one is, like, maybe better in terms of other ways, I still think this has better likeness to it. So, yeah, there's Liv Morgan there, and you guys can see what I'm talking about with the eyes. I just feel like if you separated the eyes just a little bit, it would look better, but I don't know. You can let me know what you think down in the comment section below, but I'm probably gonna head swap this to see what it looks like. And then we have these head sculpts, which I guess this head sculpt doesn't look that much like Liv Morgan, but it's solid. You know, I, I like that era of Liv Morgan and the Riot Squad, so anyway, moving on. So for Bobby Lashley's side plates, not his side plates, you dumb jagaloon. For Bobby Lashley's accessories, we do get a United States title with Bobby Lashley side plates, which look a bit weird, because they're not sculpted. It's kind of like they painted the Bobby Lashley logos and side plates over the WWE side plates, which is, I guess isn't bad. I'd still rather have it on there. I think it's, you know, it's accurate and I want it accurate to how it actually looks. And I low-key forgot that Bobby Lashley was like a recent United States champion. It was like SummerSlam 2022. It was like yesterday almost, but it's almost a year now, you dumb idiot. But this looks good. Another US championship in the collection. I know people are going to be excited about that. And then for his interchangeable hands, you get the mic holding hands with a black tape on the right hand, which kind of looks like kind of flat gray in certain lighting, but it is black. Then you also have his fisted hands with the same black tape on the right side. And then you get the pointing hands for his entrance, which he's always done. And, uh, you, you know, you can do this to tell people to shut the hell up. You can point at him and say you're next mofo and then spear him. You know, so you got that going on. All right, man, so getting into Bobby Lashley, this head sculpt is new. Kind of looks like my football coach from high school, not gonna lie to you. But I like it, you know, we, we've seen a pissed off, angry Bobby Lashley. This one's just kind of a straight face Bobby Lashley. We've seen a smiley face. Face, Bobby Lashley, and then we have the pissed off yelling Bobby Lashley coming with the Ultimate Edition, but head sculpt's nice. I don't think he's had a bad head sculpt yet, so he's looking pretty good here. I might argue this might be the worst of all of them. I feel like you could make that argument. I don't know. I guess uh, I don't know. You guys can let me know. Oh, God. Same Jack, Bobby Lashley torso, Jack, the arms, double jointed. Get the gold belt in here with the gold almighty. Got Era down there as well, and then you have, you know, like, all this right here would be so cool if it were sculpted on, like a, like a Buddy Murphy crotch or something, but you have the half Half yellow, half black, same tights designs we've seen. And then you just have standard black boots, not the ones with the straps that I like to see. So, I mean, you're looking at a repaint Bobby Lashley with a head sculpt change. And I like the figure overall. It's just, you know, it, I, I don't know how much this is going to make waves. I Gear base, this may be my least favorite. I think I prefer the, the Hurt Business black and gold, the black and white, and the red top talents over this one. So for your Bobby Lashley Elite Figure comparisons, guys, here is all of the ones that I have. I never found the Royal Rumble, the throwback, flashback, like, fall in love with Bobby Lashley era of my lifetime. Never had that figure, never seen that figure, so that is one I need to add to the collection. But you have the Elite 69, the Elite 89, I think, the Elite 103, the Elite 95, and the Top Talents. Really love the Top Talents, man. I, I just like the different colors and stuff. The white gear would have been perfect for this. And that could have been another Chase variant figure, but I'm sure they didn't give it to us because Bobby Lashley's going to continue to get more figures because, you know, he's a, he's a big-time talent. I think people love Bobby Lashley, and I, I like Bobby, Bobby Lashley. So, nonetheless, that does it for your Bobby Lashley figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up our WWE Elite Series 103, man. Had a lot of fun with these figures, and I enjoy it. I think overall, Elite Series 103, very damn good set. Overall, I remember, again, man, I'm going to call it out because I remember it. I, I swear I'm not tripping. I remember when this... this 
lineup was first announced, everybody in their mom said they're skipping the full wave. Like, I, I blatantly remember this. I'm, I, did I dream this? Like, as soon as we saw the lineup, everyone's like, oh, I'm gonna save some money because I could skip this whole wave. You're not skipping this whole wave, bro. You could skip Lashley. I guess you could skip Liv, even though this is an upgrade to our Liv, which I'll get into in just a moment. You're not skipping this full wave, bro. You're just not. You're not gonna leave these profits sitting there. Unless you have specific rules, you're not leaving these profits. Anyways, I'm still bringing up the profits, even though they're not even in this video. But overall, I like this Bobby Lashley. It's a new head sculpt. I'd like to see a screaming one. I know we're getting it in the Ultimate Edition line, but I like the gear. It's solid. I would have liked to seen them go away from, you know, a black black and gold like left leg i would have loved to seen the white gear that's really what i wanted the white and black gear would have been sick as hell but the Liv morgan figure is very good i just don't care for the head sculpt i think a head swap is certainly in her future in surgery that's definitely going to happen but i love the gear i love the women's championship with her side plates i love the money in the bank briefcase i like Liv morgan a lot and i think this is money pun intended but i think that's gonna wrap it up man if you guys entered if you guys enjoy these figures go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save 10 percent get all your orders in there man you definitely don't want to miss out on these guys. I think they're both in stock as well, which is clutch. I think the full wave's in, in stock, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe you guys weren't capped. Maybe maybe, maybe you did skip the full wave. But nonetheless, man, I am getting out of here. Thank, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know where your thoughts remain here on this. We're going to do surgery on this wave. We're going to rank this wave. We're going to do all those things like we do. But I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. Huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much. I appreciate you. Have a blessed one and I'll see you next time. You'll never